proprioception. We're going to talk about what it is, why is it important, give you indicators that you may notice in your child if they are struggling with proprioception, and give you 10 activities that you can do with your child at home to improve proprioception. So proprioception is the internal awareness that one has of where their body is in space, and the body gets feedback from its internal receptors, such as connective tissue, joints, tendons, and ligaments. Proprioception is very important to have, for example, to know how much force to use when performing motor tasks. So a child struggling with proprioception may struggle to throw at a distance, knowing how hard or how soft to throw in order to hit a target. So they may throw the ball way too hard and miss the object, or too soft and also miss the object. And then they may struggle to actually correct themselves on this. Another indicator that you may know your child is struggling is that they're pushing too hard or too soft when writing, so not knowing how much pressure to use. They may also play rough on the playground, and they may have poor body awareness. So an example of a quick test you can do with your child to see if they're struggling with proprioception is ask them to use their index finger and touch the tip of their nose. So what you're looking for to see if they touch too softly or if they push too hard or if they actually miss the nose and touch anywhere else in the face. You can do this with eyes open and with eyes closed. And now I'm going to show you 10 activities that you can do with your child to stimulate and improve proprioception.